Hello everyone. Welcome to another video. Here we are going to see ellipse by means of parallelogram method. So far we have seen ellipse by means of concentric circle method and rectangular method. So here let's consider about this question. Inscribe an ellipse in a parallelogram of sides 100 mm and 70 mm. The angle between sides is 120 degree. So the given dimensions are the dimension of a parallelogram so after drawing the parallelogram uh, the next step is to bisect the length and breadth of the parallelogram So here we have uh, the parallelogram A B C D and uh, the bisection E F and G H. So now after this step, I'm going to divide the line A E and E O into four equal parts. So here AE is divided into 4 and marked as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash EO is divided into 4 and marked as 1 2 3. Now the next step is drawing the line from this point G to 1 dash 2 dash and 3 dash like this. I have connected the points 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash to G. Likewise, uh, this H point should be connected to 1, 2 and 3. Now, after this step, the line 1 H or H1 h2 and h3 should be extended h1 should be extended towards g1 dash and h2 should be extended towards g2 dash and h3 to g3 dash so now we have uh, the intersections here P1, P2 and P3. There, these three points P1, P2 and P3 are the intersections of lines connected through H and G. So these three points are considered for drawing the required ellipse. So likewise the uh, next step is to connect horizontal and inclined lines from P1, P2 and P3. Not like in the previous one, in previous one in rectangular method we have connected vertically downwards but in this, this case we have to connect inclined line, inclined line which is parallel to AD, AD here. from P1, P2, P3 we have to connect horizontal lines now the next step is here we have to extend these lines these lines here from P3 this line we have to extend towards the right hand side with the same distance So here the line P3, line through the P3 is extended towards the right hand side with the same distance. So likewise we have to do it for the other two points. So 
similarly after this we have to uh, extend the this inclined lines towards the bottom portion uh, with the same distance Finally, we will get a figure like this. So we can mark the points after P1, P2, P3. It comes like. So then we will get uh, points from P1 to P12. And finally, we can connect curve by means of hand drawing we can connect curve through these each and every points starting from point E then we will get the required ellipse which is drawn here by means of yellow color line so now Finally, we have to draw tangent and normal if required. So if we want to draw tangent and normal here, we initially have to find the focus. There are two foci for ellipse. For determining the focus for this method, we have to connect lines from D to B, that is diagonal lines. Then we have to connect uh, the center portion H point to A point and F point, point F to A like this. We have connected lines D, B, A, H and A, F. This is only for determining the focus. So here we have two intersections here this is the first intersection this is the second intersection which are considered to be the focus of the required ellipse now just we have to connect the required point let's say we have to draw tangent and normal at any point of the curve so let I am going to take the consideration of the point P9 this is the point P9 so at that particular point let's say I am going to draw tangent and normal so for that I just I am going to uh, connect F1 and F2 to this P9 point like this so finally I have uh, the triangle F1 P9 F2 now I'm going to bisect the angle F1 P9 F2 so here so this point I have to connect with uh, P9 so this is the required normal and if, if I draw line perpendicular to this normal I will get the required tangent so this is how we have to draw the normal and tangent so hope you understand the concept thank you for watching